on this episode of The Deadliest Catch, East Coast Edition. It's the first day of shrimping season, and the race is on for the crown jewels of the sea, the North Atlantic white shrimp. The stalwart crew of the Queen Anne's Lace rushes to prepare for this year's ocean haul. It's a race against the clock to beat all odds, and every second can tip the balance between striking it rich and certain failure. When it comes to hitting the waves, time is literally of the essence. Yeah, so uh, I guess we're about to about to head out here. We're just waiting on uh, the the first mate who's uh, he's peeling some shrimp right now. I mean, I, I, normally we take off around around eight o'clock, eight thirty in the morning, but uh, today it's a little later. It's it's kind of one of those days. Um, at what uh, what what time is it? About is it ten thirty? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's 10:25, so we might we'll probably be out of here, out of here about 11, 11:30 maybe. Yeah. Not everybody's a fisherman, a shrimp fisherman. Yeah, we're proud. Proud to go out every day and bring back, you know, a meal, provide for our families. Not everybody can do it. You gotta keep the restaurants full. You know, you have you have lobster. You have pork chops. We're kind of in the middle of the two of those. We're, uh, you know, somewhere somewhere in the middle of the, the the price range. I'd say we're probably the honest man's lobster, and we're damn proud of that. A lot of da dangerous stuff that we got to take care of. We can't just, you know, haul up anchor and take off out into the open waters. It's kind of like last season when we had to had to beat ice off the side of the hull every hour just to keep from keep from sinking. You know, we've got uh, there's a lot of ocean buildup that we have to take care of. You know, a lot of a lot of seaweed sometimes it gets it gets stuck up on the front. Raise the anchor, punch the engines. Raise the anchor, punch the engines. Hold up, Captain. All right, we're good. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's really exciting. It's, it's very exciting. Man, you spend, you know, days, months, weeks out at sea. You really get to know your shipmates. I mean, you know, there's the old salty sea tales. You talk about all the ladies you loved in port, if you know what I mean. You have all these philosophical conversations, you know, really deep stuff like that. So remember that one time we, we, we were hauling in the nets, you had the nets out, we pulled them in, and remember that? <laughs> with, with the nets? Oh, yeah, yeah, with the nets, you know, like, yeah. Like we always do. Anyway, uh, we pulled that one, we pulled the net out and dumped it on the deck, and it was shrimp and crabs and all that stuff, and that one mm -hmm. that one fish is just sitting there flopping oh. around, flopping oh, all over the deck. yeah, the fish, yeah, yeah I remember that. that one fish. Mm-hmm. Man, I saw, I saw it flopping, and then it kind of stopped flopping, and it was just laying there gasping for air. I thought, man, it sucked to be a fish, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> People here are really great, you know? I mean, we're all like brothers out here. I mean, even if there is a uh, disagreement between uh, any of us, it's usually we blow over it pretty swiftly. And you know, it's a kind of uh, what's what's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine sort of mentality out here on the boat. The crew, hell yeah, they're loyal. Most of them, uh, most of them are transient. Um, they've come from all over the country. A couple of them have been in the same shelters together, so they already know one another, which makes for a good work environment. I'm sure, though, if you asked any one of them, would they be, uh, would they be shrimping um, for, for any long amount of time? They'd probably say no. They'd probably pick a different occupation. Definitely not better. I mean, it's hard to beat this. Um... The impressment of sailors, or, uh, or Shanghaiing, as it's known, uh, has a rich nautical history. It's dates, but... Hey! Hey, what are you looking at? Huh? Son of a bitch. It's hard. It's hard for us. Especially the youngest, Mitchell. He talks about his dad all the time great sea captain, captain of the grand boat. <laughs> oh, actually,
actually, he just drew a picture of him here. Looks just like him. It's adorable. <laughs> you see that? Okay. He's a real good drawer. Yeah. I get scared sometimes thinking about those boys out there putting their lives on the line for shrimp. I mean, it could be days at a time sometimes before I hear from them. And, I mean, I worry. There's so much danger out there. I, sometimes I fear they may never come back. But they do. And, uh... It's, it's, it's all right I mean, that they come back. It's all right. You know, we haven't done as well this week catch-wise as we would like to, but uh, tempers are running kind of high, emotions are a little tense, but we got to really learn to get along because we're stuck out here. And uh, it's kind of like prison that way because you can't get off if you try. So um, a couple of the sailors, including myself, when times get like this, when the weather's down, the catch is bad, uh, we resort to some old old sea customs to uh, to get rid of the bad juju. Because once once we've gotten rid of the bad juju, we should have done it when we disembarked, but we didn't. And goes to show, look at what we're in. But once we get rid of that bad juju, things will really things will really turn around for us, you know. So uh, overall, it's been a pretty tough season. Morale's low. The crew spirits are way down. So I've uh, asked Derek to kind of boost morale. So yeah, Derek's always been kind of the entertainer. When times get really hard like this and the catch isn't quite so good, we also try uh, what we call, what we sailors call, a little anger management 101. Uh, this used to be we'd grab our assault rifles and pop off a couple of rounds into the ocean. You know, it really made us feel better, but then the Coast Guard came along and told us we couldn't do it anymore, so we just kind of yell at the ocean over the side and just really, really scream at it. And, you know, we find it's really, uh, it's better for the environment in the long run. Oh, that feels great. You know, that's, I think you just gotta get those feelings out there. So, this is, uh, this is it. This is what we call the, uh, magic hour just come in from a uh, long day. No showers, no change of clothes. This is what we're about. This is shrimp fishing. And this is it. This can't be it. Is this it? I can't do this anymore. I can't.